pulling out. Alright. You can let him go. If you're good, video. Yep. Okay. Go ahead, watch him. <gasps> we need to be off the bottom at about uh, 1430. Okay, so this is another hexactinellid sponge, different from the two that we've the two others that we've seen on this dive. On this dive, yes. But we dive. have seen this one before, I believe. Could be related to maybe faria. I'm not sure. Boy, I'll tell you what, kind of resembles the Afrocalistes that we see in the Gulf of in the Gulf of Mexico, a little bit in shape, but. Um, yeah, Chris, want to weigh in on that? Yeah, I'm punching something into the chat room right now. I think it's going to wind up being a euplectelid. Oh, really? Wow. In the, yeah, the corbitellini group, because okay. they tend to have, uh, at least some of them have these lobes coming off of the side. Cool, very cool. Ooh, it's interesting a, rock behind. Look at very the, interesting look rock. at the curved yep. features right in, to the yep. right of the Pulling sponge. Out yep. sure. Ha. Okay. Curious. All right. So we have oh, and an angular as shelf to the right. As our mapping lead pointed out, about 630 meters along this dive yeah. track, maybe more what than that, that we need to traverse. Uh, uh, during this dive. No? 400. 2256. 400? 200. Oh, okay. 410. Oh, good. All right. Yep. All right, 410. Uh, I so thought he said 630. Whoa, whoa. Yet, right? Correct. I oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh. Die. Shirley goes to write oh something my down. Gosh. And pops a sponge. It's like <laughs> her favorite beast. It's like two year olds. You can't take your eyes off them for two for seconds. seconds. <laughs> oh, my Gosh, Chris, what is this? Not I haven't sure. seen a sponge like this no, yet, no. <laughs> at all, on any of the dives, <laughs> even leg one. Let's see, maybe Diva is Diva on? Not yet. Not yet. So we're just about to finish this move by the ship. Mm -hmm. So I think this is probably some kind of ureted or uh, phoria. These are what we call hard sponges because they tend to have a fairly brittle skeleton um, as a result of cross-linking in of the spicules, the long skeletal elements of these sponges. Yeah, this is a, a brand new one on me and I'm biting my lip, but boy, um, this is a fossil dive and, you know, it's, I, I sort of like the reserve some of the collections for fossils yeah we're not <laughs> so, uh, yeah, notice i'm not pushing like yeah we're gonna tr job. we're gonna yeah, I'm just you start know. moving up now I'm sure you know that we that's hope there. yeah unless we yeah, see this something is, this is painful because i've never seen a sponge like this yeah, before so I know. yeah i'm i'm bleeding over here <laughs> <laughs> me too chris because these rocks are just too big to pick up <laughs> they're bigger than the than okay, the rov And, and folks at home, when we're talking about sampling, we do have limits on, on what we uh, okay. take, well, what we customarily the take on these dives. Bio goo okay. in the water, yep. which okay. doesn't look interesting. Nope. Right. We let's don't want that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and start moving up. Yep. So the ship has just started, the Sirius has just started to move. Okay, great. Fantastic. So, so what happens is that the ship uh, will move on the surface and that will draw the vehicle that is giving you the view of the ROV, the Sirius, which is attached to the ROV by a 30 meter cable. And the ship has to move Sirius forward yeah, to give the like ROV enough slack to now, move so around and view things on the right seafloor. Yep. And what's fascinating about this giant boulder we're just going across is that the, um, the vertical side of it is has angular frames.